I'm Danielle Campbell for Best Ever Pads, and this is Quick Tip Tuesday. Hi, I'm Danielle Campbell, and today I want to talk to you about getting your saddles broken, your brand new saddles. The finished product of what I want a saddle to do, as you can see, when the saddle's just hanging here, it has this turn. The stirrups are facing forward. That's what I want. When I see a saddle and the stirrups are naturally hanging like this, that means when I'm riding in it, it's going to put more pressure on my knees, my feet. I'm going to have to try to point my toes forward instead of the saddle helping me to do that. So when I buy a new saddle, when one whatever when i get a saddle that's not broken the way i need it broken this is the process i go through i don't know that this is the right way this is what i do i get a water hose and i soak it the whole saddle i soak the seat jockeys which is this the fenders clear up underneath the whole fender everything is soaked i pre i prefer to ride a rough out fender if you ride one that's tooled it's a little harder to get them broke in because they've got sealer and stuff on it that the water and oil you're going to put on isn't going to soak in. Once it's soaking wet, then I'm going to oil. I'm going to oil really good up underneath. I'm going to really oil the top of the fenders here all the way down. Everything on it's going to get soaked and then oiled. At that point, I'm going to turn and I'm going to start up here. I always turn the top of the fender also, not just the bottom, because I want the whole fender to be flexible. I want to be able to move my legs as I choose when I'm on a horse. So I'm going to turn it starting up there, one good turn, and then I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the fender and I'm going to turn it again. And then I'm going to run a stick of some form through it. Go to the other side, obviously do the exact same thing. Get it soaked, oil it really good. Turn it at the very top. And you can see this saddle has not been ridden very much, but you can see that it's very supple and that's because of how it was built and the quality of leather used. And I'm gonna turn it down at the base also, put the stick through. I'm gonna leave this saddle for at least 24 hours. I'm not gonna do anything with it for 24 hours. I'm gonna let that leather take that, that shape, that mold on, and when it's done, it should be good to go. Like you're gonna ride in it, get some of the squeaks out, leather, just like your brand new shoes, anything. It's gonna break in and mold your foot a little better over time. A saddle's no different. But one thing I will say is there is no substitute for a high quality saddle built with good leather and a saddle maker who takes pride in what he does. I'm Danielle Campbell with Best Ever Pads. Thank you for watching Quick Tip Tuesday.